Hey everyone, Clint Butler here, and today's topic is 10 best SEO tools for beginners. Now, uh, this was a recommended topic for me, so I figured I'd go ahead and knock it out. Um, if I was going to start SEO today, and I needed, and I only had a budget for 10 tools, like I was limited to 10 tools, these would be the 10 tools that I would pick uh, to start out. One, for cost, they're a lot lower than some of the more expensive advanced tools as it were uh two ease of use and three they solve pretty much every need that you're going to have as a beginner especially since beginners are only playing in um, low competition markets it's easier to rank so it's easier to learn versus doing it the way i did where you started off an adult and trying to learn seo and that like right um, so we're gonna we're gonna do uh, this for beginners. Now let's get to it. All right, first one on the list is Page Optimizer Pro. Let me see if I can get this stupid pop up to go away. There you go. Uh, it is a if you don't know how where this came from, Kyle Roof started it. He actually had he was a Cora user from Cora from Ted Kabitis. And he created a, a spreadsheet in Google in Google Drive that pulled out the on-page uh, analysis from the Quora reports and made it way more user-friendly. Uh, and from there on, it was like this thing was born. It was called Page Optimizer Pro. Uh, and it is probably hand, one of the easier on-page analysis tools that actually gives you actionable insights. There is also an alternative to this. It's called Surfer, um, but I don't necessarily like Surfer and the on-page optimization um, presentation and the giving of the data and seeing the numbers in it. Just like, just add these, and you're kind of at, at the whim of... of of page optimizer pro or of surfer in that regard whereas page optimizer pro you get to see the numbers etc and it's pretty easy to use and it's a good interface it's also if you were just starting right now then you can do a um this is good for vas uh, instead of trying to teach them something like uh Quora, for example, you can start them out on Page Optimizer Pro, and it's way easier to get some of this stuff done uh, with this tool. So get yourself a Page Optimizer Pro account. The pricing option that I would use or I would recommend is probably the basic. I would tell you, even when I was doing a lot, I would never used all of these credits up. Um, so I would go with the basic. And then there's also this um, the unlimited yearly the the thing with the unlimited is not necessarily unlimited because if you run you're gonna you want to use NLP AI and eat and you're still only lifted limited to fifty of those credits so it's really it's kind of up to you this one and this one aren't necessarily much more expensive than each other so just depending on how you want to pay but that's how I would go that's number one page optimizer pro. Number two is Phrase. This one started out as an AppSumo deal. There is a, an ad, I get the lifetime AppSumo. And then after that, there's a $17 a month um, thing. So you see one document, you trial it for free, and you do the basic or, or the team. Uh, I don't think the AppSumo is there anymore, but you can certainly check. And there was an add on that we paid for at the time uh, for 15 bucks. But at the end of the day, this is actually a really good tool. Uh, you get some of the NLP analysis, uh, the same that you would get in POP. So generally, I recommend what you do is get your content optimized as best you can and pop, pass the scores, bring it over here, and then you're going to get another score. This is another engine, pass it again, and then you're ready to publish. Uh, again, if you're just doing basic SEO, just getting it started uh, and learning. These two tools combined are actually do great for you. So check, phrase is number two. Number three is Cora Lite. There is Cora and Cora Lite. Cora Lite is actually a significantly easier. And if you see this example here in the report, that's really all it is. If you've ever seen a Cora report, it's a blown out spreadsheet. It's huge, all kinds of data right in your face. This is Cora Lite. The output is an HTML uh, file, and it has 
just on page optimization stuff into it and it's prioritized by, by what you should do and that's it it's really simple it says um unlimited websites unlimited keywords and all that stuff it's only 125 a month it's real good i think it's a good price uh for it uh, to use Coralite. Full disclosure, this tool has been not been updated in over uh, a year, well over a year at this point. So um, it's, but it's still using the same data points and it's still crawling like Quora would crawl uh, and it's still gathering a lot of the information. Does it have to be updated? I don't necessarily think so. I probably would have made some UI improvements by now, uh, added a couple new features and, and changes, added a little bit of AI stuff to this uh, by now if I was the owner. But at the end of the day, for what it's supposed to be doing, Coralite works perfect. So combine that with pop, phrase, and now Coralite. Next is Link Assistant. And this is, if you don't know, just search for Link Assistant. And you're going to come in the SEO Power Suite. Um, your budget is going to dictate which plan you get. I recommend get uh, the uh, um, the enterprise plan, this one right here, because you can get all the, the unlimited projects, unlimited reports, and do a whole bunch of other stuff uh, with that that you might find in handy. Come in here when they really have deals and order as many years as possible. Like I order mine in like two or three years in a row. That way I don't have to worry about it. But you want all three, all four of these tools. Uh, rank tracker it's a rank tracker it's also a keyword research tool uh, you can connect to search console and do some more keyword research there's tons of keyword research options in there so you don't need another one rank tracker will do it for you website auditor think of it like as SEO or um, screaming frog screaming frog is really I mean they could get advanced because it's convoluted and you it just gives you data and you got to figure it out Whereas website auditor will run through and do it in a basic level. A VA can get a copy of website auditor and doing great. Uh, SEO Spyglass. Think of SEMrush and Ahrefs or Majestic, all those link building or link analysis tools. SEO Spyglass does it too. They have a decent database. You're obviously not going to get all of your backlinks, just like if you are running any of the other tools. You would have to combine them all to get all of them, but SEO Spyglass gets a very good representation of the backlinks that are coming to your website. Uh, and it's very useful for decision-making and competition analysis. And then finally, Link Assistant, so you can do outreach to actually build and get links. Um, typically, my use case like that, I find I create a funny email that's different. Then what everyone else is saying, like, oh, oh, I want to buy. Can you give me backlinks or um, I want a backlink on this article, please? Um, really, I take it to the other extreme and make a real funny email uh, and send it to webmasters and send two hundred emails out of there and get ten free backlinks using Link Assistant. It's that's just way easier. Um, and it's like the low-hanging fruits. You're not going to get something from a really, really stupid good site for free, obviously, but you can get some some backlinks and start building your referring domains and the authority of the page, et cetera. Uh, perfectly fine using Link Assistant. Uh, so those, those are four. There's four more. Next, ChatGPT. If you're not using this, you should be using this. There's a whole bunch of interfaces. There's a whole bunch of tools. I, I mean, I even own a content <laughs> content creating tool uh, that uses AI, and I still use ChatGPT more than the, my own tool that I own because I want to come in here to the source and get the information. Use ChatGPT and or, and or Claude. Claude is actually doing pretty good at writing content, but ChatGPT is all around, hands down, probably the best one and the one that I use the most on a daily basis, uh, especially with some of my advanced prompts that I use. Um, so I would recommend that you stick with ChatGPT, get the $20 a month version so you can go crazy with it. Um, if you're... Me, this is a beginner, so get the $20 a month one. There's free, but get the $20 a month one, uh, and that'll be your best option there. Next, this is called Napkin. Napkin is, um, it does images. It actually creates little 
Let me see if it's, I can get you the page. Here you go. Get your visuals from text. So you give it text, right? And then it'll create a visual for it. It's like little mini infographics. These are actually pretty cool. If you resize them, you can turn them into Pinterest pins. And, and people are digging those. Um, so, and you just do it, the sections of your article and create it. And it's free right now. I don't pay anything for it. I don't use it a whole lot. Um, just honestly, because I forget about it. You see, it's even right here and I forget about it. Um, but it's still an awesome little tool uh, to to leverage, especially if you want to talk about ideas and you just put them in a little paragraph of, you know, I want a link from page one to page two uh, in, with a general anchor text and then from page three to page one with a specific anchor text, exact match anchor text, uh, something like that, and then put it in here and it'll create the flow chart for you. And then you just download the PNG that it creates and you can resize it and put it up as a Pinterest pin. Um, that's an idea for you right there. So there's a napkin. And then the final one, tool number nine is tool number 10 is mid journey. I use this daily. You're going to sign up and you're going to get on a mid journey server. You can use it for free, but it's very, it's limited. So pay for it. It doesn't cost very much at all. It's like 25, 30 bucks. I think is what I'm paying for it. And you can use it to your heart's content. And I use it every day, I'm making at least 10 to 20 images every day with mid journey. Uh, and that's a good, um, good it takes care of your images for you and the cool thing is you can use chat gpt to create your prompts uh, and so like here i have that set up here's you know here's my basic prompt to create images and then it spits out the image prompt for me and i pop it in as is into mid journey it gives me four options i like it or i don't and then i can come in here and say write another version or i use it and and use the mid journey functions to tweak it a little bit and generally it comes out great when those two combined i can knock out images featured images and heading images and etc uh, for my website uh, all for the low price of 30 bucks 30 ish bucks um, i have other ones that i use but for the scopes of this video get mid journey okay so i hope those top 10 seo tools for beginners list is helpful for you um, i'll add in the description the url links mainly for the cora and pop i have um, um cora light and for yeah cora light and page optimizer pro i have affiliate links for it. i'll share those the rest of them you can search for yourself they're pretty easy or you can search for all of them yourself but if you want to uh, use my affiliate links. If not, then don't. I don't care. <laughs> uh, but with that said, I hope you find this useful. And thank you for watching. Hit the like, subscribe, and share button. And I'll see you in the next one.